Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're looking at a tool to make your life a heck of a lot easier. During the Jeep LS swap, we're rebuilding the transfer case. And the transfer case is one of these places you're gonna experience bearings that you need a blind hole puller to get those suckers out. Not necessarily, I have proven there has been other ways that you can get it out very crudely and other people have come up with other solutions, but in the end, I figure it's easier just having the right tool to do the job, less stress, less headache, get her done. This is the blind hole puller kit that I picked up. Comes with a slide hammer, comes with a puller, and a whole bunch of different attachments for whatever size blind hole bearing or whatever you're going to be using. For example, this little bearing right there most likely going to use this one. We're gonna stick it inside, hold that down by hand or with a wrench, tighten this. As you can see, it's split, so it'll spread and it'll catch on the bottom of that bearing. And hopefully we'll be able to pull it out. What we got is the sun gear from my transfer case. Let's hold that in there. So as you can see, I got the tool inserted. Now we don't want to pry on this surface right here on the sun gear because it's basically like a, almost like a bearing surface. So I'm gonna put the spacer back on and then I'm gonna put that on top. And then take this, your tool you're gonna use. I'm gonna thread that down more threads the better. Got nice and tight. Oh yeah, it's coming. It is coming. Yes it is, it's coming nicely actually. This is where a ratchet wrench would come in handy, but. There we go, look at that, eh? Simple. The key to using this tool is when you insert this die is to make sure you tighten it up tight with a wrench. In my case, it's a 17 mil and a 10 mil. I'm just gonna loosen it off. And it actually doesn't do any damage to the bearing itself, which is nice. So if you have to pull it out and reuse it, it's a pretty good chance you can. All right, we're gonna try this again. This is in the transfer case shell. Another blind hole pull. This one here is about the closest I'm going to get and 17 mil. Still too loose. Now it's tight. Now what I want to do is lower this down so it's on the edges there. I'm going to put some tension on it. I already felt it pull, so I know she's going to come off. I'll try to... Get it so my 
big hands are not in the way. You see that bearing come out just nice and easy. So you can see right there, we're almost out. And this is effortless, effortless. If you borrow one of these or buy one, well worth the money. Pulled that out. Once again, managed to pull the bearing out without damaging it. That is freaking awesome. So what'd you guys think? I'm gonna tell you right now, having the proper tool to do the job, make things a hell of a lot easier. And there's many ways, like I said before, that you can get those bearings out. There's videos where people have used bread, uh, grease, probably used condoms for all I freaking know, but, Having the right tool to do the job makes things a lot simpler. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Brand new tool. Tried it out for the first time. I'm pretty impressed. So if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching.